Question number two, Bill Twyford. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is for the Minister for Social Housing. How many families with children have been subsidised through the accommodation supplement over the last six years to live at the Western Heights Caravan Park in Ranui, she described as being not the right place for children to be growing up in? Mr Speaker. Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, given the time available, the Ministry of Social Development was unable to calculate the exact number of families with children who have lived at the Western Heights Caravan Park and received the accommodation supplement. Um, I have long well, uh, if, if it would help the House, and I'm not sure it does that I give an estimate, I would say well over a thousand to be fair. Um, I have long acknowledged that Western Heights is a far from perfect place to live, but to take away people who live there's right to access the accommodation supplement would be to take away a basic entitlement that low-income people have to subsidised housing. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. When she declared we will house more people in social housing and that she counts people, not houses, can she tell the thousands of New Zealand families living in cars and caravans and garages exactly how many extra families her social housing policy will house over the next six months? Uh, Mr Speaker. Honourable Paula Bennett. Well, Mr Speaker, um, I've been the Minister of Social Housing for weeks, not months, so we are still working our way through um, actual numbers on what, where that's at. But what I will say is that in April we introduced the IRR to be available to community housing providers. That is so it is not just used in state houses, can be used in other means of housing and will open up that availability so that people have better options than just a state house that may or may not be available. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Why can't she tell the House how many extra people her policy will house, given that she stood there yesterday after six years in government and declared we count people, not houses, and we will house more people in social housing? Honourable Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, what we will be making available is more places through IRR, and I think the member can look forward to announcements around that in the near future, um, and that will give some indication on what will be happening with the social housing market and how many people will adv be advantaged by that. Tree. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. How does she expect to house even the 5,500 people on the waiting list when, as the Minister of Finance said very recently, they only put enough additional income-related rent subsidy in the budget to house 500, a tenth of the waiting list. Well, um, Mr Honourable Speaker, Paula Bennett. Uh, as I just indicated, the member can look forward to announcements in the near future on the number of IRR that will be available. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. When the residents of the Ranui Caravan Park sent her packing at the public meeting in September last year, was it because they saw through her scapegoating of the caravan park after having done nothing to add more social or emergency housing over the last six years, or were they just being ungrateful? Mm. Uh, Mr. Paula Speaker. Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, I have a lot of admiration for the people that are living anywhere in Auckland actually and particularly for those residents whom I knew well from being the Member of Parliament for quite some years. Um, what I will say though that in um, the last figures I could find in the short period of time I've had since this question was put there is that in August 2013 there were 28 people who lived at the park who were on the housing register. So only 28 of, uh, that were there. And in June 2014, 162 people were living at the park and 20 of them, 28 of them sorry, with dependent children. So no, I certainly don't think they're ungrateful. I think they do a remarkable job in what are incredibly difficult circumstances. Question number three, Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the...